Hello everyone. In this video, we'll show you step by step how to change the tyre and inner tube on the front wheel of a Xiaomi scooter. Our goal is to demonstrate the method, tools and all the little tricks we use at Move Move to make it easy. This isn't the only way to do it, of course, and you're free to proceed differently. But we hope that this tutorial will be the best one you can find on the internet and that it will help you succeed. Let's get started. We'll start by inserting a thin blade between the sticker and the plastic cover to lift the sticker cleanly and without damaging it. And we do the same thing on the other side. Then we'll unscrew the two plastic covers on the left and right of the front wheel. To unscrew these small screws, you usually need a 2.5mm Allen key. But on some models, Xiaomi has replaced these small hexagonal screws with higher quality Torx screws. So if your screws have a star-shaped head, you'll need a small T10 Torx key to unscrew them. Now that our covers are removed, we can unscrew the two nuts on the left and right of the motor with an 18mm wrench. Next, we remove the cap from the inner tube and check that there's no air left in the tyre. Then we push the valve of the inner tube inside the wheel. And if the valve doesn't go in directly, which can happen, you can give it a few gentle taps with a hammer to make it go in. Now we'll remove the old tyre and punctured inner tube. So I start by pressing the edges of the tyre to detach it from the rim. Then I put a little soapy water around the wheel so that the tyre will slide more easily when we remove it. And it's just water with a little soap. Then I take my best allies to change a scooter tyre, namely the Hercules tyre levers. And I put a few drops of liquid soap on the edges. Then I'll place a tyre lever to the right of the valve hole at the level of the screw, and another to the left. And there, I use my tyre levers as a lever to take a first part out of the wheel. Then I slowly go around the tyre to fully remove the first side.
Now I push the lower part of the tire into the rim's recess to lift the upper part and to be able to push the inner tube valve out of the wheel. And then, all you have to do is pull the inner tube to remove it. Once that's done, you can remove the second part of the tyre by hand. And we pass the tyre and inner tube around the motor of our Xiaomi. Now you're able to see if you need to change only the inner tube or the tyre and the inner tube. For this, it's very simple. There are two points to check. Number one, look inside your tyre and if you see filaments or rubber deposits, it's time to change it for a new tyre. Number two, you can look at the outside of your tyre and if you see that the tread is much too worn and at the end of its life, it's probably a good idea to replace it with a new tyre. So now I'm taking my new Xiaomi inner tube, which is an 8.5x2L inner tube with a straight valve. But be careful, the straight valve must be slightly inclined to one side. So I am looking at which side the valve of the new inner tube is pointing, and I'm orientating it towards the side where there is the hole in the rim. To successfully install it on the wheel, there is a little trick. We will remove the valve core with a valve core remover, and with a small allen key, we will be able to orientate the valve upward to pass it through its housing. Especially, do not force this operation, because if you force it and damage your valve, you will not be able to inflate your inner tube anymore. And now you can screw the valve cap back in place. Since this is a somewhat special step, here is another shot to help you understand and visualize the technique. So we install the valve stem removal tool into the valve and simply turn to unscrew the valve core. Then, not mandatory, but you can even put a little soapy water on it to make it slide. We tighten the inner tube around the valve to save space. We position the valve at the entrance of the hole. and we gently lift the valve upwards while pushing it from the back. Then we put the valve cap back in its housing and tighten it. And if you do not have a valve core remover tool, you can also use a small screwdriver, but be really gentle.
So now that our inner tube is in place, we deflate it and put the small cap back on to keep it in place during installation. So in this tutorial, we are going to replace the original tyre with a more resistant V3 tyre, which has a better quality rubber and offers excellent grip. And we have left all the product information in the description for those who need it. So, let's get started by checking the direction of rotation on the side of a tyre to mount it in the right direction. And to avoid making a mistake, I place the tyre next to the motor. Then we install the inner tube inside the tyre. and we place the motor on top of the tyre. So now we move on to an important step. To make it easier to mount the tyre on the front wheel, we will use three cable tyres to help us. We will position the first one just in front of the valve, and we'll pass it around the tyre but without tightening it. Then we place the other two on the left and right, at the level of the screws, and still without tightening them. I put a little soapy water around the tyre to make it slide. and I simply go around the tyre with my tyre lever to insert the first part of the motor. And now we can press on the sides of the tyre and tighten our three cable ties. And really, the general idea is to bring the two sides of the tyre as close together as possible to save space. So with this technique, we can push the lower part of a tyre into the groove of the rim and gain space at the top of the successfully install the last part of a tyre into the wheel. Now I put a little soapy water around the tyre and on the ends of my tyre levers. I put the lower part of a tyre well into the wheel. I install one tyre lever on one side and a second one on the other. And then I use the flat side of my third tyre lever to pass under the tyre bead and finish the installation by making a small lever effect. Oh. 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 
and don't hesitate to ask someone to hold one or two tyre levers. It's always easier when you are a two. Then I cut my three zip ties and I simply pull on them to remove them. Now we can inflate our new V3 tyre. And here's a little chart showing you the ideal pressure to put in your tyres to avoid punctures, based on your weight. So don't hesitate to pause the video. Now we just have to put the front wheel back on our Xiaomi scooter. Nothing too complicated, but make sure the two locking washers are properly orientated downwards. So we push the wheel well up and tighten the two nuts with our 18mm wrench. And we put our covers back on both sides. <laughs> 